Art historians are calling it the holy grail of a find, a rare work of art found in a St. Louis front yard. Yeah, what looked like a lawn ornament is now headed to a museum in New York. Fox News' Patrick Clark has this incredible tale. It's a sculpture of two sisters that sat in the front yard of a St. Louis home that's been on quite a journey. For years, the sculpture entitled Martha and Mary sat on a St. Louis bench before an art historian visiting saw it while out on a stroll. Look like the commonly seen uh, concrete lawns uh, ornament that we are used to see. And he decides to return um, a few weeks later uh, and knock on the door. I had it and I put it out in my garden in Long Island, which was our main house. Brought it with me and put it on did you see that bench? And I knew it was valuable, but I knew that nobody would steal it because it looked like it was part of the bench and it would be really difficult to be able to pick up that bench and steal the whole thing. It was no ordinary lawn sculpture. It was made by artist William Edmondson, the famed black sculptor from Nashville, Tennessee. The two sisters piece had been shown at the Museum of Modern Art in 1937 in New York and later Paris. Today, William Edmondson is considered a preeminent black sculptor, even though he started sculpting when he was 60 years old and only made some 300 sculptures using limestone from demolished buildings. Like most museums, we have to find supporters to uh, acquire such artworks. You know, prices for Edmondson sculptures can be, uh, can be easily between $350,000 to seven or $800,000. Sally Bliss had inherited this Martha and Mary, and it sat outside her home in New York when she was a ballet dancer. Years later, after her first husband died, she moved to St. Louis, where she met her second husband. She would become the executive director of Dance St. Louis. After some conversations and a cleaning, Martha and Mary are headed back to New York. This time, the sculpture will be the centerpiece at the American Museum of Folk Art, debuting this January for the museum's 60th year, thanks to the generosity of a man named Brian Donnelly. I was sad, but I knew that this was the right place for it to go, and especially to New York. So many people will see it and he will get his due. And to me, that's more important than I having to be sad about losing that work of art. Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.